I have two best friends. Their names are Ariana and Lara, and I've known them for 12 years. And in that 12 years, I have drawn them quite a few times, but I never really knew how to draw them. A few times I drew Ariana as a cheetah, which is her favorite animal. And a few times I've drawn Lara as a vampire, I think. But for the most part, I've just drawn them as their regular human selves and always struggled deciding what outfit to put them in. And I don't know if this is just me, but whenever I would draw their regular human selves next to my dog-like persona, it just felt a little bit off. So of course, with their approval of the idea, I decided enough is enough and it's time to make my friends their very own personas. Now, a persona is something many artists have, and the design of which can change quite frequently. Mine has changed several times in the past, but I've found one that I feel very comfortable and connected with. But what is a persona? I was honestly a little bit stuck when it came to explaining what a persona is to my friends. Because a persona does not have to look like you at all. My persona doesn't look like me. Now, my persona reflects features that I did have when I made the character, but I don't look like that anymore. For example, the hair. I did at one point have black and red hair in that kind of way, but I don't have that anymore. I made a switch to my natural hair, which is brown and really curly. I also don't have chunky black boots or fishnets or, oh, I don't know, a dog ears and a tail. So I don't look like my persona, but that is how I see myself. A persona doesn't need to look like you, which is what I wanted my friends to be aware of. So I interviewed them both on what they want to look like, and I am sharing the process and final product with you all. Lara gave me her information first, so I'm starting with her. She said she wanted her character to be fun and girly. She wanted a crop tank top, a short skirt, snake bites, blonde hair with some fun colors, and wanted some pink in there somewhere. She was gonna be a human at first, and then I reminded her she could be literally anything she wanted, like a unicorn or a fairy, and so we did both. I treated this similar to commissions. Of course, I didn't make them pay me to do this. It was my idea. But I was constantly sending them both photos of the process and asking them if they wanted anything changed. I realized she never told me what kind of shoes she wanted to wear and I was honestly a little bit surprised when she told me she wanted ballerina shoes. I like how the product came out. It's simple enough that it won't be difficult for me to draw, but it's also detailed and unique enough that it's cool to look at. I've always seen Lara as a little bit of a badass. She's super adventurous and is down to try anything once, and she encourages me to do the same. If it weren't for her encouragement, there are some things that I probably would have never done, but I ended up having a lot of fun doing. She's the friend that will peer pressure you to do things that she knows you're gonna love, but you might be too anxious to do on your own. She's also the queen of banter. Uh, she and Ariana go at each other's throats all the time and it's so fun to watch. <laughs> I love that her persona is wearing ballerina shoes and like a really cute pastel outfit but she's also flipping you off and giving you a look. Like, that is her. That is Lara. She's sassy and determined, and she is so smart. She is so smart. She's studying psychology, and she's given me advice before that has flipped my world on its head. I just spent like 45 minutes searching different words on iMessage to try and find this piece of advice that she gave me, only for her to tell me that she thinks she said it on a FaceTime call, so. <laughs> anyway, one of the best pieces of advice she ever gave me was that our brain often mistakes excitement for nervousness. So if you feel really nervous for something that you think you should be excited for, there's a good chance that you are excited for it, but your brain is just registering it in the wrong way. I'm not a psychology major, so don't quote me on that. That's why I wanted a text so that I could quote her on it, but you know. That little piece of advice has helped me more times than I can count. There's also a cool little fun fact with comic lore involving Lara. Longtime viewers from the old days of Amdazzle will probably know this, but if you only know me from the cabin, I have a cool little fact for you. Seven years ago, I uploaded the second official dub of my first comic fantasy to the Amdazzle channel on February 13th. That was the first time I'd ever asked any of my friends to do voice acting for me, and that friend was Lara. She was the original voice actor for Jemmy, and also the first friend I ever had featured in a comic dub. I'm Jemmy, basically the keeper of the forest. Forest? But there's barely a forest here. I don't understand. Maybe I should just show you. If you know my characters, you know that nowadays Jemmy doesn't speak, but because of Lara being the original voice of her, I think if she ever did speak, in my mind, I think they would still sound like Lara. Next, we're moving on to Ariana. Although she's working on it, Ariana is not always the best at responding to our text messages. So one time when the three of us were hanging out in the city together, I cornered her and interviewed her about the persona questions. And I was a little bit surprised by her answers. Surprised, but not displeased. This was very fun. Although I don't know why I was surprised, because this girl is a fish. Now, I've been to the beach with Ariana 
and Lara a few times, and out of the three of us, Ariana stays in the water the most. I feel like she'd like to live there if she could. <laughs> now, I was expecting her to take the same approach as Lara and tell me that she wants to be a human first, but she, right out of the gate, said, no, I want to be a siren. She heard me talk about mermaids, and she said, I want the sexier, eviler version of that. After interviewing her, I thought, wow, maybe I don't know her as well as I thought I did. But after putting it together, this 100% captures her energy. She told me she wants to be a siren with blue skin, fins, long, sharp claws, fins for ears, a bikini, and long, wavy, silky black hair. This somehow looks exactly like her and nothing like her at the same time. And I'm kind of obsessed with that. Ariana is one of the sweetest souls I've ever met in my entire life. She is such a kind person with a heart of gold. I've never met anyone as sweet as she is. She will drop everything to help you if you need her, and she's done that for me several times. She's also the kind of person who remembers little details about you and stores it in her brain for future reference. Like, there was one time I offhandedly mentioned that I wanted to look into getting some stim toys to help me with my ADHD, and the next time I saw her, she shoved a poppet into my hands. A big, like, keyboard rainbow poppet. <laughs> like, she went out of her way to get something for me that she knew I was looking for. She just cares so much, and she makes sure that you know that she cares. Although she is very sweet, if you think that she's just a kind, gentle soul, then you clearly only know her at surface level because this girl is fucking wild. Just like any other person, the longer you know her, the more you see her true colors. And she is a riot. She once made me laugh so hard that I actually pissed myself. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not kidding. She also has a very fiery personality and I've seen her get really riled up over certain things. I say riled up, but I more mean like comically riled up like she's doing it for a bit. Cause even though she has a fiery personality, I don't see her angry that often. She's slow to anger, but quick to the bit. Speaking of, she will commit to a bit so hard, harder than anyone else I know. She has the ability to take the tiniest detail and turn it into something that will make me piss myself. Even though I'm talking about her committing to the bit and having a fiery but jokey personality, she's also our biggest cheerleader. The way that she shows love is without a doubt words of affirmations. She loves to hype us up and make us feel good about ourselves, and I can't speak for Lara, but it works on me every single time. She's just good at it. She's homosexual. That's the best word to describe her. Homosexual. She loves the homies. Anyways, I am out of time. I've been working on this video for like two months through getting the information making the character designs and recording the audio and it's probably gonna take me another couple weeks to edit it but that's fine point is I got to the end of it I have personas from my best friends now and I'm excited to draw them more and I think these designs turned out pretty good they both capture their energy very well like I said before they look nothing like them but exactly like them at the same time but as I said I'm running out of time so I'm gonna end this right here if you enjoyed this maybe consider subscribing it could help put my work out there and could bring me some cool opportunities you can find all my links on screen as well as in the description and all of my art and designs get posted on Instagram way before they do on YouTube, so if you're interested in early access content, you can find it there. And if you want to get to know my characters a little more, I have an Ask blog on Tumblr for them now, which you can also find in the description. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next video. You keep my life bright, my lights. Bye!